Well, hi folks. September 18th, Friday on Vancouver Island. Trust everybody's fine. Here it's uh, still a bit, bit smoky, although you could see a, see that there was a sun up there today, but it was just sort of uh, very, very faint. So what uh, today, Friday, just a bit of, uh, bit of uh, just a few thoughts, Friday thoughts. You know, it's interesting as we are watching how we're, anybody, who, I should say, start it this way, anybody who has been paying attention realizes that we've been manipulated and we're lied to and we're sort of used as tools from the time we're kids. You know, it all starts with Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, all that sort of thing. And maybe that's why we put up with it, because we get used to it, we're sort of trained to do that. And of course, as you get older, you realize the silver and the gold markets are sort of uh, manipulated. The stock market's manipulated. Uh, international banks and central banks do all kinds of crazy things. The uh, dollar value is manipulated by a lot of countries. Uh, real estate market manipulated. People sort of change numbers. Um, now, even when you get to this Wuhan waltz, it's all been crazy manipulated. Uh, I'm not sure if they've lied to us, that they just really don't know what they're talking about. You should go back to January, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, do this, don't do that. Uh, parts of the country that were painting circles on the green grass, and you had to sit in that circle if you were at the park. Otherwise, you would get, uh, get a fine. And it went from uh, fining people for not sitting in a, in a circle, uh, to letting homeless people camp in the parks and all and all shit broke loose, turned it into a shithole sort of thing. Uh, but nobody got fined for camping there or for using drugs in the park or for whatever, whatever. Uh, it's all interesting. And so we sort of wonder, you wonder how far this goes up. How, how far does this go where you're manipulated, lied to, People are bullshitted and the whole were scammed and taxpayers' money is wasted. Well, in Canada, we have all sorts of scandals with the Trudeau government, the Liberals, uh, from the SNC Lavalin to the uh, to taking a flight on the Niagara Collins helicopter to uh, to the Wee scandal. Now you can look any one of those up. We're just not making this up. You can look it up and sort of verify. It. Uh, so then they uh, parole parliament, so no, no investigations are stopped cold. Uh, sort of crazy. Then you look down south, it's even, uh, it's even, it's magnified, it's amplified and magnified. I see there's a, a movie in production right now, and I'm going to link to it. Uh, it's called Obamagate the Movie. And it's uh, it's looking intriguing. I'll let you look at the clip and make your own uh, make your own assumptions. I think he also did a, a, a documentary on Ferguson. If you go back to Ferguson, uh, what really happened? And uh, see, Obamagate. Uh, I still have Democratic liberal friends who say that's all fiction. There's, uh, Obama didn't. Uh, there is no such thing as Obamagate. They never spied on anybody. They never did anything illegal. It was all Trump's fault. It's intriguing. And a lot of people believe that. Well, of course, as a kid, they, you believe in Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny. So why wouldn't you believe it when you're Democratic? If you're in the Democratic Party, that's your party. Or you're in the Liberal Party, or the Conservative Party, or the Republican Party. And they tell you something, why wouldn't you believe it? Because... It's just the way it is, you would believe. How many people are wearing masks today when a lot of people are wearing masks? It's amazing. So we'll finish up this uh, this week with a good, a feel-good story. It's called Walter's Virus Ticket. I think I posted this quite a while ago and he got that, posted the link to this. He was uh, eating a muffin and drinking a cup of coffee in a Tim Hortons parking lot by himself with his windows rolled up when all hell broke loose. 
and I'll let you watch uh, the link. It's called Walter's Virus Ticket, and uh, shows the shows the stupidity of a lot of the things that are going on. And again, when we say the stupidity, we don't downplay that people have a lot of people have died, and in Canada, it's over 80 percent in seniors' homes. That's where the disgrace is. That's where the disgrace is. And of course, do we know it was all from the Wuhan Waltz virus? We don't know. We believe that Santa Claus, the tooth fairy, and all that stuff. So are people lying, num fixing numbers, and mismatching, and doing goofy things? Of course they are. <laughs> but again, you have to make up your own mind. Maybe you still believe in Santa Claus. Uh, maybe you still believe the gold and silver market aren't manipulated, the dollar isn't manipulated, the stock market, the stock market is real. Ah, uh, yes. We have uh, been hoodwinked for a long time. But anyway, have a wonderful Friday. Hope you like Walter's story. Take care. See you tomorrow. <laughs>